College students have been back on campus for weeks now, but things aren't back to normal for them at all. Many of them are attending classes online and really changing the way they live to combat COVID-19. That goes for the communities that surround those campuses as well. As we travel Ohio's 88 counties in 88 days, today we head to Ohio University in Athens County to see how they're adopting. This is fall semester 2020 and we are beginning phase two. And so we have students that will be moving in over the weekend here back into the residence hall. So I'm moving in phase two, but I think only a couple of hundred pe people moved in for phase one and phase two. So I feel like that's really good. Instead of just letting everyone in at the university at one time, they're doing it in like different groups. Uh, this is my first year here. And you know, it's kind of weird. You know, everybody's wearing masks now. You gotta stay distance from everybody. You know, it's different, but you know, I think it, we can make it work at the end of the day. Hopefully stuff gets better. I wanted to be on campus. Like we're still online. I still want to experience the campus. I didn't want to just sit at home for the whole semester. I'm not really too concerned about Corona just because I feel like Ohio University does a really good job of having everyone wear their masks and um, maintain social distancing. I feel like it'll be a lot easier to concentrate on schoolwork here than rather at home where all my friends are. This is a small town and we have a lot of local businesses and of course the, the pandemic has impacted a lot of them. After not having any students since March, it was wonderful to see the few of them show up at the beginning in August and it, it's really great to see the numbers increasing. We hope it goes on and incre increases from there. When you look up and down Court Street, there's already been businesses that have succumbed to this COVID epidemic and the resulting loss of uh, having a student body on campus. We were closed from the last week of March clear up through the 12th of May and we reopened on the 12th of May and it was a very slow summer without anyone on campus. Spring semester is going to be affected too, at least moderately. Uh, we're hoping to see some sense of normalcy by next fall. I don't think we could possibly survive another uh, complete shutdown. Uh, we were able to get through the first one and we uh, were able, with the help of the PPP loan, to pay our employees, our full-time employees, the whole time we were closed, which I was very proud of that but I'm not sure we can survive another one. It's always a big concern that the students do their part and, and try to, to um, socially distance and help do anything they can to, to control this until we get a vaccine. 